All right, we're shaking and baking. It's your man, Big Rich, Queens, New York City, where we get busy. A little Thursday afternoon business, if I say so myself. Ladies and gentlemen, come on in. Wipe your feet on the rug. Throw some smoke in the atmosphere. I just lit up some apple jam from the Jungle Brothers Company out in L.A. Coming in under 32% THC. Delicious. Ask me how much they're selling an eighth of it in New York City for. $70. Let's get right into business. This next story coming out of the New York Post, written by my main guy, Ben Fuhrerherd. Genevieve's crime family wise guy who doomed Bronx politician pleads guilty to racketeering. A mobster whose relationship with disgraced Bronx County Clerk Louis Diaz led to the politician's conviction earlier this year, pled guilty in Manhattan Federal Court Thursday to an unrelated racketeering conspiracy. Genevieve's associate Thomas Pole admitted to Judge John Cotal that he threatened people who didn't pay their gambling debts as part of a Bronx-based bookkeeping operation run by the crime family. Quote, I just yelled at people and threatened them, the wise guy told the judge. Poli, who was previously convicted and sentenced in 2019 on a separate criminal charge, got some help from Diaz, a former state assemblyman, in his attempt to prove he'd satisfied the conditions of his plea in that case. He asked Diaz, who had deep ties in the Bronx Democratic Party establishment, to submit a letter to the court falsely claiming that he'd performed volunteer work for a now-defunct homeless service provider. Diaz, 69, in July, pled guilty to defrauding the Bronx State Court by telling a judge that Poli had fulfilled a community service requirement in exchange for cash. Poli was arrested in August with five other Genovese mobsters, including his own son and two capo regimes for the scheme, which included extortion and illegal gambling, according to the indictment against him. If the case went to trial, prosecutors would show Poli's son, Michael, headed the illegal gambling operation and used his father to collect debts. Assistant U.S. Attorney Celia Cohen said at Thursday's plea hearing, Poli, who was represented by attorney John Marangolo, told the judge that on one occasion, he went to Pennsylvania to threaten someone who hadn't paid their debt to the operation. Diaz was suspended in October 2020 from his $200,000 a year job as the county clerk amid an investigation by Attorney General Letitia James into the bribery. The disgraced politician pled guilty to one count of offering a false instrument and now barred from ever holding public office in New York. He was also ordered to complete 100 hours of community service. If you ask me, I think it's foolishness on all parties. Mr. Poli should have just did the community service. And this guy, you got a $200,000 a year job. How much did you even get paid to write that false letter? I wouldn't have done it. Not because of this, everybody's in the limelight. Five people get arrested, including two capos. I would have just did the, I would have just did the, the, the public, I would have just did the community service and had it done with. And I, you know, I don't know. Let me know if you guys agree with me with it or not. What I want to know is if, I want to know it. What I want to know is who snitched on who. It doesn't say how they got caught. Maybe they'll put it out. Maybe they'll put it out. How did they get caught? Somebody had to talk. And again, as far as the gambling and all that, nobody puts a gun to anybody's head and says you got to gamble. You know, we've, we've had this argument many times. The government has lotto. It's gambling. It's legal. And me and my man Jojo, or Mr. Fugazi, wanted to start running numbers in the street. We go to jail for conspiracy. Forget about it. You can't have one form of gambling which is illegal, but then this uh, form of gambling is uh, not illegal. It's legal. You know what I mean? You already know the location, Queens, New York City. What do we do? We get busy. Like, comment, and share. Let me know what you're smoking on. Let me know what city you're smoking in. Again, Apple Jam by the Jungle Brothers coming in at 32.7 THC. Very delicious. Very clean. Smells very nice. And I'm not really into the fruity flavors. I don't go for the apples and the berries or anything like that. But I said, you know what? At $70 an eighth, let me just try it once. You know what I mean? It's delicious. We will talk soon. Salute.